Hello everyone and welcome to today's Bite Size Talk. With us today is Maxime from Sikera and uh, he is going to show us how to make our metro maps even better by uh, animating little dots that will run around on the graph. So uh, off to you. Hi, thank you very much. So let me share my screen first to begin with. Uh, which... Ah, yes, I want to share the whole screen. Sorry. No, I remember. Uh, so, of course, that's the wrong window. So that's the right window. So hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Fran, for hosting me. So and I just want to show how to animate like a SVG map, uh, a subway map in SVG. Uh, the whole idea is to just add a dot that will start and go along the path. So I'm doing that for the Hello Next Flow training. I figured that this training is nice, it's good, but it's missing a subway map. And uh, so I made a subway map. It's fairly simple. I will not show how it's done because we've already done that tons of time and uh, all of the resources are available everywhere on NFCore. But uh, animating it is another tiny issue. Uh, so here, if I look at, uh, so that's the, that's the exact same file. So here I have the SVG, the PNG. So the PNG will not be animated. We will be animated the SVG. So this is what the SVG look like on my computer. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can have, uh, if I look, if I open it on the, if I open the SVG, this is the SVG. So that's the exact, the exact same one. <coughs> What I'm going to do now is open the SVG with my favorite uh, text editor, <coughs> which is VS Code. And here, that's my whole SVG that describes the subway map. So it looks messy. It looks bad. Uh, but actually, SVG are pretty simple what's, once you manage to understand them. It's... Uh, it's it, it, it's a, there are plenty of tags all over the, the file. It's like HTML, more or less. And what we are going to do here is just editing the whole file by hand, which is the main issue because we cannot animate stuff within uh, Inkscape. So we are going to be playing around with both Inkscape and the text editor. So in the text editor, I will be adding just a tiny uh, circle, as you see, it's a circle. Uh, I'm filling it with, uh, let's say, black. OK. Let's call it circle one. As you will see that will be important uh, later. OK. And here, what is important, we're having an animated motion uh, tag. And that's the one stuff that we want to add. So on the animate motion tag, you want to specify when you want uh, it to, to, to begin. So Maxine? usually you, you start stuff at zero. Maxime, would yes? you mind uh, increasing the font size a bit? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. OK. So here I am. Uh, Close that. So here yeah, you see uh, I'm having this animate motion uh, tag. In here I have uh, begin, which is just when you want to start to, uh, it to begin. So you can start with even neg neg negative value. Uh, that way your dot will already be along the path. Or with positive value, which means the dot will start later on. Uh, duration that will be the time it will take for the wall uh, for the dot to run along the wall pass. You don't control the speed, but you control the time it it uh, your dot goes along the pass. And then if you want it to repeat or not, and this is just the path that it needs to follow. So this is what it means follow the green line, and to get the actual pass for that, uh, the actual ID. Uh, you need actually to open uh, this file. And if I look here, I want my green uh, my green line. The ID is path three. So that's what I'm doing. 
So here, let me close that, close that one. So here I'm adding this tiny dot. I'm uh, opening again my web browser. I'm reloading my picture. We can see here that we have a tiny black dot that goes not along the path at all. So we are going to have to fix that. Uh, and we are going to have to fix the size. So usually to do that, what I do, I open it in Inkscape. And you can see that the dot is wrongly uh, placed and is way too small. So I'm just making the dot tiny bigger. And I'm guessing it needs to be a bit on the side like that. Yes, don't ask me why I just feel like it's better. It is better. So we are getting somewhere. <clears throat> and why is it not going all around the path? Okay, some weird, some other weird stuff are happening. So this is my wall as three, right? Okay, let's go back there. I have my pass uh, duration. I guess put eight on duration. Pass three. That's I have only one pass three, so that should be good. Something is weird there. Just need to be over there. Oh uh, wait, I was way too low, but I'm going. Okay, that's better. So that's the issue. You really need like to play around there to properly place the spot on your on your on your map, and you really need to navigate in between VS Code and in between uh, uh, your web browser to make sure that you position stuff correctly. Uh, so I need to go a bit further on the side. And I never, I haven't really managed to find the right uh, place apart from doing this weird, this weird stuff. So I think we are right on the on the vertical level. Now we just need to go up a tiny bit. I think that will be it. Up a tiny bit more. Up. Oh, that was too much. Much. It's enough. I think that's better. Uh, now we can see that uh, it's going, uh, it's over my, uh, so it's over everything. It's on top of everything. What I usually like to do is to put it uh, behind the station. And I like also when the dot is white. So I will put the dot back to white and I will put all of that on top. Okay, if we did that, we can see that the dot is moving all along uh, nicely. It's going, uh, let's say we want the pay, the, pass, the pace to be faster. So I'm recharging this pass. I have my circle here. The duration is for, why is it for? Let me just close that. Close that. Yes, two seconds, that's faster, that's better. Okay, and let's say you want to do two dots at once. So the idea for that, you just copy, paste another circle. Once you're happy with your starting point, you don't mess with it. And that way you add one. This is my second circle, this is my other circle, let's call it circle three. And I want to delay the beginning. So I'm putting a minus one. And here I have my two circles. Uh, and then 
basically the idea is the same to applicate to a bigger uh, pipeline, let's say the uh, RNA seq pipeline. So if you look at the subway map for the RNA seq pipeline, you can see that there are like multiple paths along the way. And uh, the idea there is exactly the same. Uh, I'm having paths that follow, uh, I'm having the dots that follow the wall pass. Uh, in case of branch, I made duplicated paths that do all over. And because I wanted to render nicely in the final SVG, these paths are transparent. So we don't see them. Uh, in that case, the SVG is quite complex, has a lot of information. So usually what I do, I rename the paths to make sure that they are, uh, to know uh, which path is uh, following which line. So I know, for example, that this blue path that goes from here over to fast P and over there is the path that I called uh, star uh, fast P. And I think if you have a, if we have a look at the dev branch, It was merged and uh, like I made a new version of the subway map to add Kraken to Bracken. So Kraken to Bracken only works for uh, star and I said two. But if I just have uh, fast P and star, then I don't have Kraken. So what I did, I just stretched the, the line and my dot for, that was already following the line just keep kept on following the line. And that was easy to do. So that's more or less uh, the idea for that. And uh, I think now if anyone has any question, I'm open to questions. Thank you very much. So uh, everyone is now allowed to unmute themselves. So if there are any questions, uh, feel free to ask now. Well, it seems there are no questions from the audience, but um, so basically, for your for the RNA seq pipeline, yeah, you have the actual showing path, and then you have in addition an overlaying path for anything that uh, crosses or. That's it. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just showing that if I modify the path, my dot will follow the path. Right. And can you do it with something else than a dot? Let's say a little arrow. Uh, yes, you can choose whatever you want. I choose dots uh, because in the case of the Arenic pipeline, you notice that the line goes around. So in SVG, you can have your uh, object that uh, turns along the line, but I notice that it's not working super well. I really uh, I started initially with uh, squares and it was not looking, looking super well on the turning. So I'd rather, I, I decided to use a circle because that way uses a circle. You don't notice if it's turning or not, so no one really cares. <laughs> okay, yep. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, and if you make mistake as well, uh, depending on where you put your animate motion, which I did manage to did once or twice, uh, depending on where you put it in the, in your, uh, like here, I'm animating the, the circle. But if I put that here. There also was a question. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm animating somewhere. I, I lost something anyway. Eh, it's fine. So, yes, be careful what you do. Uh, Lily, yes, you have a question. Uh, yes, so I'm really bad at using Inkscape. And that's all, or maybe the draw I or before. So, I. I'm just wondering, for instance, in this uh, this example, so so you always make sure this green line is one line. So you, you so you always like how do you say like twist this line for different directions, or you know make a turn. You don't use two lines. No, 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 because uh, your uh, dot needs to follow just one line. So if we look at RNA seq, uh, you see all my dots. They follow one line that start here and ends. Mm. At or here or here. Uh, I all see. The branches that you see, they are like, I have one dot that goes 
all along this way and one dot that goes all along that way. So I made two lines uh, that got uh, superimposed one to, to each other. And because mm. they're all transparent, you don't see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I realized, at least before when I did it, I realized sometimes it's difficult to to drag the line. I always, it looks ugly. I don't know. It's not the way I want to put the angles and uh, uh, the circles. So sometimes I make two lines, but that seems like, yeah, I can't do that. Okay. If I want yeah, to use this. Uh, it's, yeah. it's always complicated to do that. And uh, usually what I, usually I think on the MNSIC pipeline, I have multiple parts of the stuff uh, mm -hmm. for the line, and I did take care of uh, all of the all of the line. And then, when you create another pass, I joined it. I joined it later, and and here, if I'm doing that, it won't work because, of course, it's all outside of my pass. Let me just go back here inside. Let's see. You see, if I try to do that. Mm. This won't be working. Mm. Because you see, I haven't continued my yeah. path. But now, if I join these two paths together, uh, wait. pass union. Oh, no, that was not that. I think it does work. It's just that uh, you have to change the the fill and stroke. Uh, I know. Sorry, it's just I wanted to do that joint selection. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I do that, then ah, oh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that's the one I was looking for. Thank you so much. <laughs> you just need not to hesitate to get messy and walk around with your uh, SVG and VS Code at the same time. And uh, for me, I make sure first that I have the path that uh, look that correspond to what I want. Then I really try to get the dot at the right position. And then when I have like one dot at the right position, I know that I can animate along my path. And then it's just a question of creating more dots and making them to, to, uh, to follow another path. Um, Dorothy. Hi. Um, I was wondering, uh, I guess kind of a similar question, because on, um, for example, on that, uh, the RNA seq pipeline, there are a couple of places where the path bifurcates. And could you have a dot, like have two lines the same color on top of each other? add a delay and then say, okay, for this one, we're transferring here and this other one, we're transferring this other way. Yeah, so that's exactly what I did. So let's do this, it here. I'm just duplicating the pass. So it's another pass now, uh, which, so my first pass ID was ID three. This is ID one. You see, I'm making it bifurcate. Okay, I'm just going again. Uh, I'm just putting again all of the station on top of everything because I just prefer to do that. And if I go back here, instead of following the pass three, let's say I want to follow the pass one. And there I have, oh wait, my dot is not in front of it. So let me just put the dot on top of everything, put that on top of the dot. And here, oh wait, they are both on the bottom one. What did I do? Uh, circle, where is my circle? Circle three, animate motion, pass three. Ah oh, yes, pass three. That's one. Yeah, sometimes when you switch over to editing the SVG in Inkscape and the SVG in uh, VS Code, it kind of overlap and you might have to redo stuff over. And now I have one that goes on top and one that goes at the bottom. Is that what you wanted to see? Yep, thank you. That's really cool. Cool. 
So thank you very much. Uh, do we have more questions? No, then uh, thank you, Maxime, for showing us this uh, nice animation. And thank you, everyone, for listening. And I hope to have you all back next week when we see Maxime again, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about NF tests, if I remember it right. That's it. Cool. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.